we are doing polls our interview questions as part of this series so today's question is so we'll talk about how does hash set work internally what is a hash set so it is a part of the set interface in java in simple words it is a data structure which guarantees uniqueness of elements which means it does not allow any kind of duplicates so that is the main factor of why we use hash sets okay so what are the properties of hash set first of all as we know it can store unique element and it can permit null values second is it is backed by a hash map so we'll talk more about the second point when we talk about the internal implementation of hash set third is it doesn't maintain insertion order so there are two main things one is guarantees the uniqueness second is it doesn't maintain the order so that is a trade off although we can have elements which are unique but we cannot have it in a particular order so it is unordered but it maintains the unique elements so these two are the main points that we have to remember for hash set and lastly hash set as a class is not thread safe which means if there are multiple threads trying to manipulate the same hash set it can result in race condition or incorrect results what we want to understand is when we say hash set allows unique elements essentially we want to know how does hash set maintain the uniqueness why do we say that set can only contain unique elements so how does it maintain this unique factor so that is what we are going to learn by understanding how the hash set's internal implementation looks like and how is it related to this point that it is backed by a hash map okay so now let's go into the ide to find that out so we are into the ide and now we are going to see how does it work so to find a set of employees we are going to add all the employees data into it so notice that i have added the employee varsha twice so now let's try to print the set so we can see that although we had added varsha twice we only get the unique elements there are three employees okay so we talked about the point that it is backed by a hash map and that guarantees uniqueness is what we talked about so if we see first line when we are trying to initialize the hash set so there is a constructor that we are using so new hash set so if we go into this class new hash set and this is a constructor of hash set what it is saying is it will construct a new and empty set the backing hash map instance will have certain capacity and load factor so basically whenever we are doing new hash set it is initializing it to a hash map like it is basically internally doing a new hash map so that is why it was being told that it is backed by a hash map so we create a hash set but behind the scenes it is creating a hash map so that is point number 1 what is default initial capacity and load factor these two terms are needed for guaranteeing the performance of a hash map so i don't want to go into the details of initial capacity load factor how it affects performance and all of that we can talk about that in a separate video don't want to deviate from the point the main point we want to talk about in this is how does the uniqueness of the hash set is maintained so first thing we understood that a new hash set means a new hash map behind the scenes what is the second thing that when the add method is called when i added here employee varsha and then i added harsha and then ramesh when i am adding varsha again why varsha is not being added so that is the question that we want to deal with so if i go to the add method this is the add method of the hash set class what it is saying is it is going to return map dot put and then it is going to put the key and the value so hash map we know that it stores a key and a value the key is the element that we are adding and then there is one constant which is called present so if we see the value of present is initialized over here in line number 99 so it is just an object that we are creating with some dummy value and we are creating a new object and it is final so we are not going to change this constant so this is a constant that we are using called present so whenever i am calling the add method it is adding to my map two values the element that i am adding and a constant called present not only that it is checking whether it is equal equal to null so now there are couple of things that is happening so let's now try to break down what is happening in the add method and what is happening in the map dot put method so i will create one hash map so this is the keys and the values so i have the keys and the values over here first i am trying to add varsha into the set so what is the condition it is saying map dot put if i am trying to add whatever the element and i am adding one constant that is present it is checking if it is equal equal to null what does this check mean in a map when a mapping doesn't exist which means a fresh entry is added to the map then the map dot put method returns null because it doesn't enter because it doesn't exist in the map only So it will say no, nothing found against this key and value pair. So I will return none. So in the first instance, when I am adding Varsha employee to the map, it will say map dot put equal equal to null. This will be true. So because this will be true, my add method will also return true, and Varsha mm -hmm. will be added into the set. So there will be a entry like Varsha, and the value will be equal to that constant which is present. Fine. Cool. 
then I'll add another entry called Harsha. So that is also not present. I will add this entry also. Third time, now when I'm trying to insert Varsha again into my set, again this condition is going to run. So when this condition is going to run, now this time what is happening is it is there is already an entry in the hash map against the key Varsha. So in case of an existing entry, so we know that if it is a fresh entry, I will get null. If it is an existing entry, what it returns is the key point. It will not return null. It will return the older value that is associated. What is the older value? It will present. So if it returns old value, is the old value equal equal to null? No. Because I already have an entry. This is just an indication to the method that I already have an entry for this. I have a key and a value pair and that is not equal to null. So this condition will turn out to be false. The moment this condition turns out to be false, add method is not done successfully. Hence, I am not able to add any entry. Basically, no modification is happening to my map only. Because I am adding the same key again into the hash map and the value is also unchanged. So same key, same value, no changes to the hash map. If nothing has changed in the hash map, so nothing is added to the set. So because of that, this entire mechanism, we are able to guarantee the unique feature of the set. No two entries, which is duplicate, will be entered into the set because of this condition that is happening. Now let's go back again into the ID. So like we discussed in the whiteboard, now if I go another step into the map.quote, same thing what we discussed is going to come. It will return the previous value associated with the key or it will return null if there was no mapping. So fresh entry, no mapping, it will return null because it will return null, it will be true. Otherwise, it will return the previous value. What is the previous value? The previous value and current value is same. That is the constant present. So no changes are done to the set. So it is. So that is what is set in this line. If the set already contains the element, it will leave the set unchanged and it return false. Now another, so this is all about the add method, right? Now, how does the remove method work? Because it needs to remove an entry from the map. So what it will do is it will try to recall the map, hash maps remove method. And it is trying to remove a certain object that is our uh, entry in the hash map. And it will say, if I'm trying to remove this, check if it is equal, equal to present or not. So this is also a little tricky. How does it work? It will remove the specified element if it is present. Right. So what does the remove method return is important to understand. It will remove the mapping. So it will return the previous value. Same thing. The idea, the basic foundation remains the same. If it is a fresh entry, it will return null. Or if there is already an entry done into the map, it will return the previous value. Just to show that I already have an entry in the hash map. So it will basically return true if the set has the element. Now consider a situation where you want to remove something from the set, which doesn't even exist. So let's say I will try this employees dot remove. And I'll try to remove some element which is not even there in the set. Let's see what happens. So over here, what is happening is if there is an existing entry, like we talked about in our whiteboard, the value against that was already present. So this condition will be true. It is an existing entry. So it will happily remove it from the set. But if it is not an entry, like we added uh, employee name Sheetal, it is not even there in the set. So when it is trying to invoke this, it is when it is trying to invoke the remove method, at that point in time, it is getting null. It is just the opposite of the add method. So because it is getting uh, because it is getting null and not equal to present, that is the constant, because it is getting null is why it is not able to remove anything and it just return a false. If I have to just store the return type of this method call. I can show that it returns false. If I now try to remove a valid element from the set and run this, it will return true. So we can understand the difference between this. Similarly, when if I add a sysout around this part where I'm trying to add an employee which already exists, I should be getting a false first. Right. So because it is already existing, I am getting a false. So 
this is about the add and the remove method. Every other method is simple. When we are trying to clear the element, I am calling the clear method of the map. If I'm checking contains, I'm using the contains key method of the hash map. Is empty is simple. I'm calling the is empty method. Size is also simple. Iterator over here, it is a fail fast iterator where the concurrent modification is being thrown. We already talked about iterators in the previous video of fail save versus fail fast. Why concurrent modification exception occurs. So hash sets iterator, the default iterator of a hash set is also fail fast. Okay, so you cannot modify the set while you are trying to iterate over it. So yeah, that is all about how the hash set works in hand with hash map internally, how the uniqueness of the elements is guaranteed. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.